The sights and sounds of a steam locomotive pulling a freight train are something that has largely faded into the pages of history. Amazingly though, there are a few places in the United States where one can recreate this bit of American lore. And we'll visit one in this program, the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad, where we'll enjoy steam in the autumn season. The Western Maryland Scenic Railroad normally runs passenger trains between Cumberland and Frostburg, Maryland, a distance of 15 miles over former Western Maryland railway trackage. On October 17th and 18th, 2011, a group of photographers enjoyed a special charter, where a steam-powered freight performed runbys at numerous locations, offering fantastic steam action for the cameras. Pulling our train is 280 steam locomotive number 734. 734 was built in 1916 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works as number 34 for Michigan's Lake Superior and Ishpeming Railroad where she carried train loads of iron ore. In 1991, the 34 was purchased from the Illinois Railway Museum by the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad overhauled and renumbered 734. The original Western Maryland Railway also had a 280 number 734 and the current locomotive makes a respectable stand-in for the original although some details such as headlight placement and the tender are quite different. Today's 734 looks good in her Western Maryland paint and still carries the spirit of the old railroad, even if she's not an exact replica of the original 734. Our train is arriving at the old Western Maryland station in Cumberland, where the photographers will board.
Before our train departs, let's learn a little more about the route that we will be using. The Western Maryland Railway was an 800 mile long railroad in Maryland, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania, with its main line running from Baltimore to Connellsville, Pennsylvania, where it connected with the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie. The starting point for our trip, Cumberland, Maryland, is located in the northeast portion of the United States and is the headquarters of the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad, with the trains departing from the old Western Maryland Depot. Departing Cumberland, trains travel over the old route of the Georges Creek and Cumberland Railroad, which was built in 1876 through the Cumberland Narrows. This line was acquired by the Western Maryland which in 1906 started building the Connellsville Extension, which diverted from the G, C, and C at George's Creek Junction. From here, the line winds around towards the crossing with Cache Valley Road and the famous Helmsteaders Curve, where we'll see several runbys. This large horseshoe curve was made popular in the 1950s when the noted photographer, William Price, took many photos of trains wrapping around the lovely Helmstetter family farm in the valley below. A short distance past Helmstetters, the line goes under Piney Mountain in the 914 foot long brush tunnel, which is also a famous photo location. Past the tunnel, the railroad skirts the side of Piney Mountain with views of Jennings Run Valley and the town of Mount Savage far below. In this area, we'll see the train in places with names like Log Load, Lap, Sunnyside, and Coal Tipple. At a place called Number 9 Switch, we'll leave the old Western Maryland, which is abandoned west of here, and join a short stretch of the Cumberland and Pennsylvania Railroad. The C&P had climbed out of the Jennings Run Valley through a series of switchbacks. The abandoned middle rung is seen going down into the valley while the upper rung, the present-day Western Maryland Scenic Railroad, twice crosses the abandoned Western Maryland Railway grade to Connellsville, Pennsylvania. From here, we'll climb the steep grade to the western end of the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad at Prosper. The Cumberland and Pennsylvania continued on to Piedmont, West Virginia. In 1953, the C&P was bought by the Western Maryland and the line west of Frostburg was abandoned shortly thereafter. We're in the Cumberland Narrows alongside Wills Creek as we depart Cumberland. A few miles west of Cumberland is Helmstetter's Curve, 
which loops around the Helmstetter family farm inside of it. The original wood barn was destroyed in a fire and was replaced by this new one in large part from donations from photo charter patrons who enjoyed the many photo angles afforded here. A little over a mile from the Helmstetter farm, the railroad passes through the 914 foot long brush tunnel, another favorite photo location.
team number two. shares its right-of-way with the Allegheny Highlands Trail to No. 9 switch. Here, the railroad is abandoned, with only the trail remaining. Shortly west of here, the Western Maryland curved north and went into Pennsylvania. No. 9 switch was where the Cumberland and Pennsylvania interchanged with the Western Maryland, and will use the old C&P to Frostburg. Just past number 9 switch, the Cumberland and Pennsylvania climbed out of the Jennings Run Valley using a series of switchbacks. Today's Western Maryland Scenic Railroad uses the upper level of the switchback to climb to Frostburg on a 2.8% grade.
Our train has arrived at the old CNP station in Frostburg, the present day end of line, and the end of our first day of photography. We'll be back at it again tomorrow. It's October 18th, and our train is departing Ridgely, West Virginia. The Western Maryland Railway once had a large yard here, which is where the excursion trains of today are maintained and stored.
photographers rode in a couple of coaches which were usually uncoupled during run-bys. Here's a shot of the whole train.
going to let him do most of the work. Once again, we've arrived in Frostburg, ending our two days of charters. The Western Maryland Scenic Railroad is a fabulous operation, a railroad that you should see for yourself.